Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Like, pause and think about what I used to say. That's really it. Uh, how you doing? How's it going? For me, I'm doing not too bad. It's 3.45. It's September 14th or 15th, depending on your perspective. And, yeah, you know, hanging in there. I'm a little tired. I... I've been sitting here for a lot longer than I should have. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't start the video. I don't know why. I couldn't hit start recording. I don't know what it was. I had a big block on starting this one, but we're here. We're always here. Yesterday's video was a little late. I just forgot to upload it when I woke up. Happens sometimes. Most people probably don't notice, although I was doing pretty well of getting them all to you on time. But not much today. Played some Hellrush on stream. Had some fun runs. Had some Apex Imp cursed runs. I'm so sick of seeing that unit. I feel like I've seen so much Apex Imp lately. I'm so tired of seeing his dumb face. <clears throat> Apex Imp. Get away from me. There we go. Last yawn of the episode, I promise. Uh, I did stream this game today, and that means that I turned the music off, which means I turned the music back on, but I don't remember what it was at, so it may be a little louder or quieter than it was in yesterday's episode, just in case. I like to say things like that for you, in case you're wondering, like, if you hear a slight difference. Maybe I shouldn't, and then you can leave me a comment instead. But anyway, let me ask you your question, and then we'll get to it. Today's question, I will... So, about... But four months ago, a friend from high school who I hadn't talked to since I graduated high school sent me a message. We were pretty good friends. We would talk like every day. We'd sit next to each other, but we weren't like the hangout outside of high school types. But this friend sent me a message and said, hey, I'd like to do a little, like, it's been a while. How you been? Uh, I'd like to hang out sometime. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. He's like, I'd like to get all of our friends together and we should do like a little reunion thing. And I went, that sounds cool. It hasn't happened yet. I think it's going to happen next month when one of our friends gets back in town. But I wanted to ask you if you had been to any high school reunion type things. It could just be something like generally I'm thinking the story is only tangentially related. Generally, I'm thinking of like bigger, more like organized high school reunions because this is going to be like five of us. Maybe I don't know anything about them. So I kind of want to hear if you've been to a high school reunion. Who puts them on? Like, does the high school run it? I imagine not. When I was younger, I would have said the high school would run it. But now I would guess it's got to be like, it's got to just be something that someone in the class puts on, right? And then everyone who went goes and they're supposed to be held every five years, something like that. You go to any, any high school reunions, maybe college reunions, anything like that. I would not go to a high school reunion. My class was pretty small. I talk to the most of the people that I would care to see again. But, you know, I, I'd go I'd go to this friend reunion of people that I haven't seen in a little while. Anyway. Let's play Monster Train, shall we? I think so. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Today it's Hellhorn Melting. We got Wilder Helper in the starter as well. It's a good start. Uh... Someone said in the comments of yesterday's video that it's been Hellhorn like five runs in a row. And it does feel that way. However, we did have it broken up by that one Primordium run, which was Umbra Awoken. Been a lot of Hellhorned lately, though, I think. Pushback Talos, Curse Fell, Sap, Seraph, Welder Helper, a Wicklash, Tiresome Climb. That's alright. Welder Helper's good. Wicklash, Brawler Prince could be fun. I don't... I don't like Infused Mallet. I'm going to take it. I realize that I might be holding a grudge against a card that I shouldn't be holding a grudge against, so I'm gonna take it here. No brawler. <laughs> I think Reaper is unplayable. I don't like Reaper prints. I'm gonna move around a little bit just to warn you. Try not to make any sudden noises, but I need to reposition. Move the mic as well. Hello. Hello again. Welcome to slightly closer to me than you were before. So we're going to look to play 
some sort of degenerate melting game plan that throws away the prints. I'm still on Super Ultra from Hell Rush. My bad. Yeah, we could try to play a Prince based run with Welder Helper, but. Oh, those have a. Those have a block. We could try to do a Prince based run with Welder Helper, because once you get him started, he's gonna do great. But that's a big ask. Getting Prince started is hard. My, my hell on card is Welder Helper. What's my uncommon? I've already seen it. It's Tiresome Flame. Yeah. That card doesn't do a lot for you. It is here, though. I should play Dreg like this because of what I saw, which was that the plus 10 didn't actually change anything. But it killed with 9, basically, so you put the drag here to get one more kill. We're gonna take 5, and that's okay. Did Infuse Mallet hit that back guy? No, I triple torched him. Did Infuse Mallet hit anything in this combat? I don't think it did. Ping. The ping doesn't do anything. I can draw Tiresome Climb to kill this enemy. Almost missed lethal by uh, 11 damage, which would have been... A shame, but a pretty easy combat. Did Infuse Mallet proc on that fight? I don't think it did, but I wasn't watching. Okay, let's think about the sort of game plans we're gonna play here. We're gonna play an Imp, but we wanna think about which one of these Imps we want to play. Kinda wanna play Fledgling Imp. Yeah, so actually we're good. Like, cause I was thinking this, right? Fledgling Imp Molten Encasement. That sounds kinda cool. And you put that with a Wickless Baron pair behind it. That sounds like it should win. Does it win? The Wickless Baron pair? Yeah, they, if you get the multi-strike, it should be fine. Play Paraffin Enforcer as well, but then you need to do a whole burnout thing. You can just play Wickless Baron with a Welder Hel or a Fledgling encasement here. Duplicate. Hmm. The second Baron doesn't hit until Fell is dead because of the duplicate timing. It might be... Nah, it's definitely not worth it to try and grab a second Baron here. You definitely want to look for the multi-strike. Multi-strike's pretty important to the run. So this is an important little something to do here. We're going to reroll this shop. You reroll first in case this is a 100 gold multi-strike. It's worth looking. Because 100 gold is a reasonable number to hit for multi-strike, I would say. It's a while away that we get the next temple. So we'll go ahead and I'll do... Does it matter which way you go here? I don't think it matters which way you go here. Budgling and Molten Encasement. Doesn't make a difference. I guess actually you want to do... So this is a really interesting bit of optimization that I wish the game had more of. I think it's best to go Molten Encasement onto Fledgling Imp because that way if you see Queen's Tail you still have an Imp. If you go Imp on the Molten Encasement it's better if you see Melting Spout but I don't like Melting Spout. I would rather maintain my Imp. And that'll be for Queen's Tail. I should click a unit here, I think, to go with Wickless Baron. Just something to press, but Hornbreaker Prince is probably better than these. And I could take plus 25. I'm going to look for... What was the other one? Was it a Burnout one? It was a Burnout one. I should grab that. I don't think I want the plus 25 on the Baron. I think I want him to have multi-strike. I could give him plus 25, I guess. Like, it doesn't really matter. I'm never going to see two multi-strike. I think it's a waste to bet on two multi-strikes, so I'll give him a plus 25. I don't believe that you should ever bet on seeing two multi-strike, and I don't want anything else here. Mark of Invasion should have like three of its units clipped, right? There's seven of them. It should have like two clipped. 
Yeah, I killed four, which is definitely a bigger number than I would have dared to hope for there. We take that. Go get him, buddy. Yeah, that's big. So, this run, right now, has what issues? Good question. Thanks for asking it. I'm not sure. I'm, right now, we're okay. At a certain point, we get a little worse. When's that a certain point? I believe that's going to be after Talos is going to be hard. This enemy is pretty scary as well. If, it's like, we could go to every shop and have every shop be dead, and then we have a really hard run. But that shouldn't happen, right? I need Endless, I need Multi-Strike. That's what we're here for right now. Hey, wow. Well. Can I ever not take 18 here? Because I would really like to not take 18 here. I'm too off of Torch Torch Dragline. Uh, torching here gives me 27. I think I just take 18 and there's nothing you can do about it. Just go, damn that sucks, and move on. It's Torch Torch and then play Drag doesn't work. Should have thought a little more about this, I guess. I don't think you can do anything here. I don't know if that's going to I think if I planned ahead, I could have maybe stopped that damage, but that's also just a shame. I'm gonna end my turn, I don't want to clean the boss for two or anything like that. Alright. Fine. I mean, not fine, I took 23, but I'll say fine and we'll move on. March of Shields is... Molting Imp is eh, I'm okay. Entombed Explosive is alright. I don't like this run that much. Feels like I have to... This I want to go right, but I feel... It's going to be a struggle, and then we're going to get to Seraph and just go... Pop off. Right? Two Barons... I think is worse... Than going left. I think left is better because there's a small chance this has a Baron inside of it as well. So that's what we're gonna do. This needs to be Endless or Multi-Strike. That's not good. Monster Train. Monster Train. At least there's a Baron here. Man, that's really bad. I'm not taking Legion of Blacks also. I try it. This is the run where it would be potentially good. Uh... Yeah, I could have done like a Legion of Wax infusion because it pops things to harvest out, but I don't think that's good. Uh, this, right here, this turn of events is a disaster, I would say. No Endless, no Multi-Strike, two large stone quick steel shops in a row. Very bad, very not good for the run. I should have, I guess, in hindsight, picked large stone to put onto something to make me feel less doomed and dead, but... I think it might just be a next, and that's okay. If it has to be. What are the odds of that? It's like 2 and 4 and 1 and 3. So it's 1 and 2 at times 1 and 3 is the odds of seeing what you want, or not what you want, I should say. We gotta play two. I'm gonna play two Barons. I don't think that Prince does enough. And. God, it's fucking. No ping the enemy Talos, too. Sometimes it'll be okay, and we will get to ping the enemy. Because of Infused Mallet, sometimes I will get to hit the enemy. Usually it's not gonna let me hit the enemy, though. Fuck you, pushback Talos. I hate you. It's a little- I hate a little strong. I'm sorry, pushback Talos. I strongly dislike you. Play the drag as a damager. I don't know. The infused priest back to back here might actually be my doom. 
I don't think I can kill that second priest. Can I do it if I play the Fudgling Imp? I think I have to play Fudgling Imp in the back. Or I could put it here in the middle. I think in the middle guarantees it. Yeah. Scary. My prince burns out, but he's done what he needed to do. I am a fool. Oh. I am a fool. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> That's... That's real silly. Oh. I think I'm pretty fucked anyway. Oh man. 3 HP. I, I'm dead. I am dead. Yeah, there is no... Monster Train. Look. You and I, we've had a very long relationship. If you ever do this shit to me again, I am not picking this game up. I would have lived that if I didn't take 18 on the prior combat, but like, man, you go to two steel shops and you just eat shit. The game just flips you off. Fuck you, Monster Train. Oh, that's, that's a tilter. Ugh. Give me something nice to make it up. Molting Empire Chomper Molded. Double Barrel Rage Sap. Yeah. Memorial Fund is real good. That's a lot of money. Go Brawler, please. Thank you. I'm gonna play Super Ultra for the duration of the run. I I, I was for... It was, I shouldn't have... I guess I shouldn't have taken the Infusion. with. But the Infusion would have been great if I had Endless, right? If I had been shown the Endless I was asking for, the Infusion would have been very good. So, I don't think it was wrong. Playing a Molded Prince line is scary because Molded is not a very uh, often card here. I only see it twice over the course of this combat. Sure. That's fine. That does 10. I'm gonna work on killing this foot soldier, I guess. We also want our own units dying. And I'll put a train steward up here. Prince is gonna do very little. We're gonna be happy to take like 20 on this combat. Prince doesn't add a lot. As is often the case with Brawler Prince as your starter. Be happy if I don't take a million here. This is a big drag. Trying to get it by playing big drags. Because they hit in twos, yeah. That does make sense. I was, like, I, was, I was thinking about this as if it was doing 10 damage, but it's actually doing 5 and 5, which is more. I don't think I killed this enemy in the back. I can draw two torches, potentially. Unlikely, but it's possible. Hey, look at that. Torch. Torch. It's 48. Play a molded and bring back. Uh... Oh, I should have played molded and brought back molding imp, actually. I could have saved myself three. I'm happy with this outcome, though. 15 12 on this combat with Brawler Prince is fine. Acceptable. Take Fudgling imp. You gotta take the offense for Brawler Prince before you take the defense. Go Wicklash. Fudgling Imp and Wicklash are kind of at odds, but that's okay. Uh, well, there's only one unit in this banner that's actually playable, so click it. We can do reform ideas, or we can do... I feel like I'm a little bit more inclined towards reform ideas, but I should probably play the Rage. You gotta, yeah, you gotta show me Endless here. Monster Train wouldn't double do me dirty there. Hmm. You wanna get technical, you can play that Consumer of Crowns. We have Pyre Chomper. You can use them with Pyre Chomper, you only cost six. It's not good, but again, play this Demon Fiend. Cost zero if you infuse him with Pyre Chomper. Is it good? No. Is it? 
Yeah. It is. Like, that's an idea. 25 for the Baron. He's not going to be the main idea here. He's just here to keep Prince standing. Can actually... I can't afford the reroll. Never mind. I will take the money, though. That's alright. Unit draft? What do I want? I want a, another Wickless Baron. Plus four? Scary. We have two Molting Imps, I'm okay. It's a little scary, but we have two Molting Imps. I only have ten pack shards, so maybe one? Yeah, one. Handled by the Molting Imp. Kinda wanna play bottom floor so Baron gets these four kills for the harvests. But if my next turn is bad, I will lose my Baron and it will be a tragedy. But I do need to play the Molting Imp here. Too bad I can't freeze this Molting Imp or something. I'm gonna decide to play it like this. Seems like this is gonna have to be the play. Yeah, I like this. Play a train steward. Need to ping some of these enemies off so I don't have the risk of death. You know, one other, one other thing about that last run, by the way, all I'm saying, we took Infused Mallet for the first time in a long time, and I immediately lost. So, am I telling you that I think Infused Mallet is the reason we lost that last run? Yes. The end. I will never click Infused Mallet again in my life. Monster Train has ruined the relic. It is dead to me. Uh, it is but ash beneath my boot. Get off my screen, bitch. Good stuff. I... I'm just thinking about what I want to infuse onto the molting or the fledgling up here. The armor 10 is a good option. It keeps Prince alive. It is a bad option because it's slow. This will be our only rage scaling, so I'll have to take space and play two of them. I think you can do that, though. You can also go Molting Imp and that kills backline. But Prince dies right now to the Divinity, so let's go Welder Helper. We play two of that. And that'll be pretty straightforward. I have seen th two, two Demon Fiends? Three Demon Fiends? I've seen too many Demon Fiends. I am haunted. I think Steelworker has an infusion as well there. But... I did not. Go left and grab higher health. Quick, plus 25 and 510. Endless again. I guess we're not seeing multi strike tonight. I like Lost Luggage a lot. Paper Funnel's okay, but Lost Luggage lets you draw into that imp very quickly. Purge a card, gain a card. I like the Purge Train Steward. And I like to gain. I think Hellhorn. Armor card is good. Yeah, what do I even want in Melting? Dark Deal's okay. It's fine, it's Rage 7. Also a 5 damage ping. Probably has two angles. Alley of the Ancients, Dark Deal. Probably play, uh... What's it called? One Horn Stone there as well. Got another Train Steward. Set myself up for a tragic defeat at the hands of... Sorry. At the hands of Stealth Boss. I mean, Double Barrel Daedalus could also take me to town here. But Lost Luggage, we have a lot of money. As well from the Memorial Fund. Hmm. Again, I am tempted to play bottom floor. I'm gonna give in the temptation this time. It's just so hard to give up this much value. That's so many stats. It was a lot of money for doing this, though, actually, because I have less space to have my units die. Hmm. Maybe it's not as good as I initially thought. I am missing out. There he is. It takes one of the explosion hits for you, young fledgling. Can't ping that. 
Alright, I mean, we're chilling for the rest of this combat. Once we get the armor infusion as well, I'm feeling much better. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Molting Imp over the Fledgling Imp here. Just to be safe. What else am I looking for here? Not much, to be honest with you. Gonna put this Imp in front to get it killed. That's five gold missed. Pay an energy. I... I think I... I just need to remind myself that I need to take space. I will take it here because I'm gonna go for... I should have that enemy myself. My bad. I'm gonna go for this idea quickly. The double welder helper, right? Or the double fledgling up idea. I'm gonna go for it very quickly. Like, I think I take space and I duplicate it right now. Formless child. Oh, formless child brawler prince. That <laughs> sounds terrible here. But there are runs where that would be really cool. Sounds real bad here, though. The formless child drought has ended. Formless child's back, baby. It's not a Seraph where I have to worry that much about my deck composition. I mean, I do in a sense, just not that much here. We're gonna go Elder Helper into Fledgling Imp. And we duplicate this right now. It is a lot of pack shards. It's 65. We're in the red. However, it's also very good. Very, very good is what it also is. That's, once we draw it, it's 10 rage, 20 armor every round on the Brawler Prince, which is good. I would say. This fight's terrifying. Hate to see haste combat here. Absolutely loathe to see it. I'm gonna do this. I didn't mean to play the second drag, but that's okay. He can stay for now. He's actually fine to play. I meant to play Dark Deal, but it all moved on me too quickly. He's fine to maybe even good to play here. This is a meat grinder. I'm going back and then we get the kill. Yeah. Bit. I mean, this this Fudgling Imp now also gets to act as a chump blocker, since it will gain armor as well. So, not a lot to like here. A little bit better than the previous run as well, Monster Train. Thank you. I, I don't know if our relationship will recover from the road bump we have had. However, I will try monster train. I will try to forgive you for what you have done to me. This great insult on my name, I shall try to forget. See that effect still hanging there? I saw it. You also make just an absolute load of money for Memorial Fun. Would love to get a relic stats tracker to track how much money you get on Memorial Fun. It'd be very cool. One horn stone. I think I get enough for this, but do I want it? Not really. It's very expensive. I have to do a lot to get it to be playable. I think I'm just gonna press skip. It's just so expensive, I don't think it's worth it. Stealth, I don't care for. Vote of very. Eh. I don't know. Thing. Eh. I don't think I need to add a lot to this deck. Might even look to go for another space and go for a third infling, but. That'll depend. I'm gonna do a lot of removing now. From the temple. You're not gonna show me much that I want right now from 65 plus 10 piercing spell chain. I don't think so. Value stone, I'd be tempted. Not the seraph or calcified ember. Vengeful shards, puke. That's a puke emoji right there. I think that's actually not called the puke emoji, it's called the nauseated face or something like that. Yeah, I'll bet. 
I mean, I gotta reroll just to see if it's gonna show me multi-strike today. Apparently I have lost my multi-strike privileges today. That's five shops, no multi-strike over two runs. The Clash is dead, I'm not playing this. Keep it molded in though, in case I end up on the... Transcendent train. Touch my legs real quick, I don't forget the stand up and stretch and things. Oh, I haven't stretched lately. Okay. Mm, I'm not gonna take any more shards. I am really close to the mic right now, but I'm leaning forward for a sec. And I don't wanna do anything else here. I moved, yeah. I'm just moving around a lot. You gotta stay 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 mobile here. So I stay awake. I don't need to take this trial for money. I could take this trial for money. I really... There's no reason to. I have so much money. I don't know what to spend it on. I'm so rich. Track how he scales here, young prince. I should have played Fire Chomper just to get rid of it. How does Mr. Prince scale? That's your question of the day here. This is a good draw where we drew both Welder Helper, Fledgling Imps, Turn 1. I don't think that this is an out of the question draw though with what we're going to be doing for the deck. I'm going to be doing a lot of removing cards to make this more consistent. So how is 62 times 5 on the first round? It's okay. It's pretty... it's worse if it's damage shield and it's better if it's the other guys, the incanters. If it's the incanters, that's fine. Damage shield is a scary first wave though. And from there you pretty quickly reach the point where like a hundred times five, yeah that kind of crunches through enemies. Okay, like, like with the help of Wickless Baron, I think I don't need to do it. But I might take space and duplicate the Fledgling Imp again. But we're looking a little slow. Divinity has some fast meat requirements. Not that kind of meat. No, stop. Don't think about it. I guess we'll see. Spell will be a really good indicator. Arch of Shields and Flame, impressive. Those are definitely three cards. Remnant hosts. It's good in a different run. This is not the run for it, though. The other two cards are also there. I don't even remember what they were. I filtered them out so that so quickly. I saw them and they instantly were deleted. I'm gonna go left here. I know right path is tempting, but what do I want here? Uh, not much. I don't want to duplicate right now. I don't want to make a call until we're on Seraph on the Fledgling Imp. Although I have to make a call at Fell. But that's a call to make at Fell. So I'm just gonna go left and look at a relic. Sure, I'll take... I'll take Precious Blading, yeah. Hell Pact isn't that good since one of the spikes is just bad. Oh yeah, I can also see Multi-Strike here. Oh my god. Six shops the charm, baby. That's a Multi-Strike right there. Yeehaw. I don't need to spend my money on removals right now. So here's a here's an interesting decision for you. I could remove, like, three cards from this deck right now. I don't need to. I can save the money for a potential better outcome at this trinket shop rather than drop the money on removal right now because I'm going to win this combat handedly. I hope. If I don't win this combat handedly, something went wrong. We're about to see a bit of a difficulty spike after this fight, though, and that'll be the true test. It's like a, there's a definitive right way to play this turn, I think. I think I just have to dodge the Ember Drain. Yeah, I don't need to kill the other drag. If I draw both imps, I lose a turn of rage, but losing a turn of rage for seven rage is pretty worth. I drew neither imp. That's fine. I'm not that worried about the loss of harvest on the top floor right now. 
Wycliffe Baron isn't our main line plan. He's just chilling. Am I gonna take a third in? I really don't know. I could get these early. You could probably play them with just Prince and win. If I could draw them in time. Play three of those. Three of these, I should say. Oh, I fed him. Like, hey, why does this guy have so much rage and the, the other one doesn't? I know why. You don't need to tell me. I know. I'm aware of the answer. Hello again, the consequences of my actions. Fancy meeting you here. I wasn't thinking about you. It does feel kind of bad only drawing three cards per turn right now, and taking that down to two would feel worse. But I'm really not convinced that this is a fast enough scaling amount. Like, we have enough to kill Relentless, but do we really? I think the deck needs a little more sauce. Although with this 145 times 2 helping out, maybe it's good enough now. It feels like this deck is a batch of... I was gonna say, first food, you know, I'll, I'll commit, I'll commit. I was gonna say this was a batch of uh, Panda Express orange chicken. How was I gonna say that? I was gonna say you need to commit to the sauce. Oh, no, it needs more sauce, is what I was going to say. I need to go to bed. <laughs> oh, man. This might actually... Ooh, I'm not playing Hollow Dolls Monster Train. I don't need it. Impolite or Alloy of the Ancients? What do you want here? Impolite? It's not bad. I'll never remove any of these five imps. This number will only increase. I only have the Ancients is 25 armor. I am sandal that. It's Impolite or nothing. I'll take Impolite. Alright, million dollar question here. I think with the Impolite take, I feel okay taking draw. You know what? This is gonna be one of those runs where I take a break. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get up and like splash some water on my face so I'm not so tired. I'm not like super super tired, but I'm gonna take like I'm gonna take a quick breather. I'll be right back. All right. Took a took a little break. I'm still you know I'm not not like fully reinvigorated, but I'm good enough to click on Fledgling and Confused Wilder Helper. I think for a little while longer. I'm gonna go left path here and look at the trinket shop, I believe was the idea. Looking for rage bonuses right now. Mold braces is okay. Doesn't do a lot though. Faulty loader is actually really good. Concussive coals is also there. Combustible wax is terrible. Hurts the run in a great way. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out all my torches now because these do two damage. Maybe leave like two in as a just in case. And then I need to take this ten. I'll probably... I'm not doing another Fledgling, so I need to take 25 at the next one. Ah, that's good. You can sap stone and basically guarantee uh, you kill the divinity with sap stone, but melee weakness on Harvest Baron is a little better, I think, here. I think you can do either of these. The thing is, the sap apply 4 is still going to have enemies hit the pyre, whereas applying 2 melee weakness should maybe do something. I think that either one is very strong. Sap 8, if you do the duplicate, would be a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I think that either of those choices is very, very good. Like, unlosably good. That's a very strong event. Again, I don't feel like I need to purge my cards. We're strong. We're at 21 cards, 6 draw. I only have 2 cards that I need to hit that aren't draw priority. Spell Shield does very little. I keep thinking I have Infused Mallet. If I have the Wickless Baron again, the run feels the same. Go get him, Pyre Chomper. 
I say after Pyro Chomper's untimely demise at my own hands. Doesn't proc melee weakness. I will... Yeah, I don't mind losing the melee weakness on the steel wings. It's fine. I want the money. I'm greedy. Just tracking it. Is it enough? It might be enough. Fire Chomper. I was wondering who was dead. Fire Chomper. I killed him. Fire Chomper's dead. He's locked in my basement. That line sounds... That's a... That doesn't sound right. That's an Eminem lyric, if you're wondering. Uh, Dre's dead, he's locked in my basement. Is an Eminem lyric. However, when I said it like that... It didn't seem right. Nobody's locked in my basement. Don't worry. I have not committed murder and locked someone in my basement. I would tell you if that were the case, trust. I would never do such a thing. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, once I get through it all, this deck's like, it's like no cards, but you can see my hesitation here. The Prince is not having a super high number. 104, 114 times 5 is good. I could be playing these Moldas for slightly more money, but I cannot be bothered. We have so much money already. I don't think we're going to be in a worse position because I'm not playing Molded for 15 extra gold in these combats. Alright. Through the, through the multi-strike as well. Yeah, important work is very good. Let's you kill and replay an imp, which is very strong. And uh, the other cards there for melting weren't very good. I don't feel. Oh hey, I thought these were. I thought this was duplicate with the steel shop. It's very nice to see this at the magic shop. I will get rid of. I, think I can get rid of Pyre Chomper. Didn't see transcendent actually. I can cut out these molds. Trinket Shop, you got any Rage Increasers? Hmm, melting Spout. Resin Block does do a pretty good job of making these Molting or these Fudgling Imps start popping, but... I'm okay. Scorch Steel, I'm okay. Plus 5 attack, I'm also okay. Not great Relics, but... That is a Temple. Spell chain important work is great. That's a lot of rage. And then purge stone torch is good. And that's an even 100. We're gonna do... We'll stack dark deal for 14 rage for free. Give it a minus one as well. Prince has plenty of armor to do this. Hold over spell chain important work. Okay, this run got a lot stronger very quickly here. A lot stronger, yeah. I'm gonna take out a lot here. Get the dregs out. The duplicate still. Let's get rid of the last two dregs that I can remove here. Like 1200 gold or something like that. If I duplicate a card, it's probably... Realistically, I can duplicate this important work holdover spell chain nonsense. This card's really strong. I can go to 110, I feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, let's ride. I've been trying to have a run where I get blank pages. I haven't been thinking about it too much, right? Like, obviously I didn't go to 150 on this run. Could I have? Maybe. But... I'm trying to get blank pages on the YouTube. It'd be a nice one to see. I'm going to ignore the Ember Drain. I don't think it matters. This is a lot. Oh, it is negative on energy, the important work. I was a little incorrect. It does still cost me energy to play. 
but that's a lot more rage than it was before. And those cards are free when I draw back into them, which is fine. If I draw back into them, I guess. But the problem is that they make my Welder Helper not free. Like, it still, it still costs me energy to do this. This is the... This is the rub here. Something that I didn't... Like, could I have known that? Yeah, sure. Did I know that? No. I am not in the... Not in the mind state to be processing situations like this one. Please don't be ridiculous. And the spell chains aren't even that bad, because everything else is held over and fine. And it is free. But... Not really. It really feels like I should be scaling at a rate that puts me at a lot larger of a number than 140 times 5 right now. I guess that's the sap working against you, though. That's the sap fighting you. Did I get rid of both of those uh, moldeds? Because I don't think I did. Fire Chomper actually became a really, really good unit to have here. Because he lets me do all of these cards out. A lot of damage going through, but 200 times 5, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna stop playing the important works because I don't really want to anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I don't feel. I'll play him again a little bit here. I don't think that this runs in much of a question mark position here, but I guess I can play a few more in. Alright, I'm gonna end turn. I'm tired, man. I wanna go to bed. You'll forgive me. This is over. I guess you don't have to forgive me. But, like... This fight's over. I don't need to keep playing important work. We're very strong. You get it. I'm not gonna pre-relentless pre divinity here or anything like that. Yeah. Wick with Baron on his own would win this fight. I'm gonna I'm gonna go so far as to end turn three times. I feel like I don't need to sit here and uh, click on these cards when we know the outcome already. It was never called into question. On the Divinity, I will probably need to keep playing them, but here we're chilling. Now we're about to be, uh, extra chillin' because it's cold at the center of hell right now. Eh. We're, we're about to be chillin', but not for long, I guess, because it's about to get hot. Hey, we dodged damage shield. Nice. I mean, these guys are much easier to deal with. I respect the Ember Drain here. a tough question. I'm gonna say, I think I should actually do it. Hmm. It's a weird one. I end up losing a fledgling in play for this, but... Oh my bad, I was supposed to play Pyro Chomper into important work there. Can optimize that turn quite a bit. I don't mind, I suppose. Four sixty-two before enemies get here. Not bad. Or that's a big infusion of rage. It feels like man, it's ten per round, but ten per round feels so slow. It's one ritual of battle per round, really. Not the ideal, but at the end of the day, we gotta do what we gotta do here. They didn't offer me ritual battle, we took the next best thing. My favorite runs are where you get to make the fledgling of a battle. Missed Pyro Chomper, right? Yeah. Would have been a good time to have Pyro Chomper in my deck. Waiting. That's free, and then the next one you can't play. Yeah. 
I'm beyond the point of caring about things like uh, clearing out all my dregs. I'm at the point of just trying to keep it together here. Trying to hold on. The people are counting on me. Would have been really good if these fudglingums cost zero. By the by, would have been. Uh... <laughs> That's okay. It'd just be just think thinking about that big rage number. I think it's actually wrong to have these die more than once here. I'm not gonna play the important works because it's gonna make a lot of armor. I think we have enough. We have enough. Hey, I just redrew it also. Take those. Yeah, acting like I'm surprised there that I drew into uh, bludgling it. Hmm. Well, let's screw the first run in this episode. The first run and I, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. This run, though, very cool. Great run. Thank you, Monster Train. We'll forget the first run ever happened. You're dead, right? That's gotta be a red X? Yeah, that's a red X. Alright. I mean, ultimately, if you want to take something away from this run, you pick Brawler Prince, you pick a unit you put in front of them, you pick Bledgling Imp, Welder Helper, and that's a winning line. This is a 16 card deck. The melee weakness helped a lot, but I think without it we would have been still fine. You give your prince high rage scaling plus survivability. You have to tell you, you have to play two of them though, so it's 20 armor, 10 rage per round, sadly. But it's good. I'd be interested if you wanted to play this one. Uh, maybe you can do something a little exciting in it. If you really want, you can ask for a seed to first run of this episode and then I will go oh no I have forgotten but I will look it up for you probably like a day or two later anyway I'm gonna go to bed thanks for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to leave me a like subscribe if you want to see more I will see you in the next one have a good one have a good one